Hello and welcome to Age of Engineering. My name's CJ and as always, it's raining. Right, and what we're going to be doing today then, uh, yesterday we finally got our Elytra and that does now mean that we can start looking at getting some flights, some jetpacks rather than just using the gliders that we have on his current army. Right now, looking at jetpacks then, the ones that I want to get on is simply jetpacks, but these can't be made easily. They have to be made using the industrial craft electric jetpack. And to make the electric jetpack, we then need to start with the biogas jet biogas jetpack. So the first thing we're going to be starting with then is this recipe here. Uh, so what we're going to need is, I've got the elytra. Uh, we're going to need some redstone, some iron item cases, and I've got to made a few of those anyway. We need a universal fluid cell, which is 10 item casings surrounding a glass pane. And also an electronic circuit. Ooh, give me the right one, please. Thank you very much. And that's with insulated copper wire, iron plates, and redstone. And I'm going to make two of those because I do need uh, an upgraded one as well at some point. So let's just grab some redstone. We also want iron item cases, 10 item cases. Uh, can I just take the 46 please thank you very much let's put the elytra over here out of the way <coughs> uh, we need a pane of glass and we also need iron plates there we go right so first thing that we're going to craft then let's get the universal fluid cell and we only need the one and let's also get that we need copper wire I've already got some insulated over here let's go back on here and as I said I want to make two of those in fact sorry let's make the four because I'm probably going to need some more at some point right so the first jetpack then we underway and we have all the items and we should also still get the elytra back now next thing we're going to turn this into then is the electric backpack uh, jetpack this does take an advanced circuit. The advanced circuit takes four empowered Restonia, two glowstone, and two empowered palace crystals. So I think I've already got those. One, two, three, four. Uh, we need the empowered palace crystal. Now I have already set one up to be empowered uh, last night. So that is done. Yep. Yeah. So let's break that down. And we only need two of those. And then it's just a case of getting to glowstone. I'm nearly out of glowstone. I'm probably going to have to take a break and go and get some of that. Right, so we'll make that. And we also need another two pieces of glowstone for the jetpack. We've got more iron casings. That's not a problem. It's just a case of making the bat box, which takes insulated tin cable, uh, planks, and three RE batteries, and the RE batteries are two redstone, ten item cases, and insulated tin cable. So I think I've already got some insulated tin cable as well. Yep, that's here. So what we're going to first make then is the batteries. Uh, I could do with three of those, thank you. Um, recipe, go. There we go. So we've got those. Now we need to make the bat box which means I will need some planks let's just take half the stack of that and there we go we've got his bat box so now if I click here and click here there's the electric jetpack right so we can put these away not the redstone that can go where it should belong in here We've also finished with the elytra, so that can go back on display. Let's pop the dark oak in here and the insulated tin cable in here. Right, so the first one that we're going to make then is going to be the conductive iron jetpack, which means we need conductive iron, a basic capacitor, and some conductive iron thrusters, which means we're going to need some more basic capacitors, two basic gears, some more redstone, and some more conductive iron and redstone um, conduit which is made with redstone alloy and conduit binder now I have made some redstone alloy we'll just grab that for now because we don't need to make too much of this and I've got binder up here 
Let's grab a stack. Drop down, please. Right, so let's get the conduct uh, the redstone conduit made. That's done. And now what we need is we need four of those to make two of those. We also need one extra for the jetpack itself. And we're going to need a lot of conductive iron as well. So let's grab conductive iron. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab, uh, I'll just grab the rest of those. Probably have to make some more as well. Right now where we need to make the basic gears as well. Which are just cobblestone and sticks. So let's grab some cobblestone. Let's grab some sticks. Let's just grab eight. Um, sorry, not eight. We're going to need 16 because we're going to need two of those thrusters. Move across to there, click on that, click on that, click on that, click on that, there we go. And then if we go across to here, click on that. Redstone, redstone, I should have just kept that out with me. Try again. Boom, so we've got those two there. Now if I click on here, click on here, we should also have the parts to make the conductive iron jetpack. So now we're on the conductive iron. The next one to move up to is the electric steel. Same again, basic capacitors, electric steel, electric steel thrusters. Now they are made using machine casings and some more conductive iron thrusters. So what we will need to do then is I may as well just craft up uh, a whole bunch of these. Seven, mm, is that because I've run out of cobblestone? Yep. Let's make one more, just to even out the odds. There we go. Right, and uh, it did say we needed machine casings as well. Mm. Clicking everywhere. So we're going to need four machine casings. Machine casings are steel casings, basic capacitors, iron casings, and iron bars in the carpenter. I may still have them on me. They were in one bag. It's probably the bag that's now gone. Uh, no. No, yeah, so uh, they were in that bag that is kaput, gone, vanished. I don't think I've put them anywhere else. We've got sturdy casings there. Oh, we've got two there. Um, basic machine casings. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. We're also going to need some... Iron ingots and also some black quartz. Let me just turn that into that. Take that. Uh, now I believe it's there. There. And there. There we go. We've got his advanced ones. Let me take the advanced ones and we just go like that. Like that. And we got machine casings, brilliant. So we got five machine casings, we got five sturdy casings, we've got more than five basic capacitors. Uh, so we just need bars. Uh, I believe this is seed oil one. Yeah, let's cancel that out. Let's take those out of there. Bob all that. Oh, not that. We want that. Bob all that in there. One, two, three, four, five. Probably going to need to make some more iron bars. There'll be one left over. Brilliant. <clears throat> Alright, so if I chuck that in there, let's click on this, 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 and that. And what it needs now is seed oil. So let's go grab ourselves some seeds. And we'll chuck all those in there and let that process. Now we do only need two. 
so I'll come back to that when we have the two um, yeah and everything's in there just double checking right so what we can get ready before and then uh, we've got the basic capacitors we've got that we're going to need energy conduit now energy conduit is conductive iron around that so that's going to be pretty simple for us to make and there we go we've got that this may have done one of the two we may have even done two no what's going on here pull push yep it's all set up right hmm it's taking its time I thought that speed thing would have hurried it up by now but it still looks like it's going to take a while uh, what I'm going to do then I'm just going to break away while we wait for those I'll come back as soon as they're done so I'll see you shortly right so so we've got the, the machine chassis now it's just a case of turning this into a electric uh, turning those thrusters into the electric steel thrusters so if we do that and get both of those as you can see I've made another two as well because uh, I'm going to need craft quite a few just to get through uh, uh, just to get further up through the jetpacks because I'll show you now to move on to the next one from the electric steel we need the energetic thrusters which take electric steel thrusters which take conductive iron thrusters and the same again up here as well so it's going to take quite a bit to get all the way up there which means I'm going to need a lot more of those machine chassis uh, that does mean that I'm going to want to you know what let's do it all I can easily empower some more of that and let's chuck that in here so it can start crafting up capacitors yeah, yeah it's doing it just checking right now we've got those then so what we'll be able to do now is turn that into the electric steel thruster uh, that does now mean that I'm gonna need to get myself um, some more electric steel thrusters which means I'm gonna need two more of those and I'm probably gonna need another two again so I'm gonna need four of those um, I'm gonna need eight of those in total sorry to get all the way up to the pack that we want and we've got one in there we've got two more steady casings two more iron casings so we're gonna need a few more uh, iron casings we're going to need a few more steady casings and some more iron bars so let's get started with that then so I know for a while we've got iron plates in here uh, which if we do that gives us three of those we are going to need more than that so what I'm going to do as well is go get some more turned into plates one yep I'm just gonna chuck all that in there get all that turned into plates um, I'm gonna need some binder I've got plenty on me right so to move up to this one then uh, we're gonna need enhanced energy conduits and we're also gonna need double layer capacitors and pulsating crystals uh, we're also gonna need a double layer capacitor there so we're gonna need one we're going to need five double layer capacitors, which means we're going to need a lot more capacitors. Uh, in fact, yeah, we've got enough capacitors because we only need ten. Right, so what I need now then is energetic alloy. I think we can say we're done with that and that. Uh, I'm also going to need some, not vibrant, I'm going to need some of this. Um, what else do we need? Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, for the double layer capacitors, we're also going to need coal dust. Um, right, so if I click on that, click on that, and click on that. And there we go, we've got five double layer capacitors. The next thing that we're going to want craft then is enhanced energy conduit. And I believe we can just do it like that. I know we've just made it quite a bit and we've still got plain energy conduit there, but I aren't too fussed. That'll do fine. Uh, in fact, we're done with 
them so I can pour all that back. This is kind of just me junk one at the very top, like just chuck everything in there. Now uh, we're going to need two more electrical steel thrusters. We've still only got one more there. Is that all out of seeds? Yep, that's why we're waiting. Move that out the way. And um, we're going to want. That should do. Oh, there's one off filling that up. Um, right, so we're just going to wait then on some more machine casings, uh, machine chassis, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we've already got the two thrusters. Um, we're going to need to make some more thrusters for the next one. So if we just work this out then. Uh, we're going to be using the two thrusters that we create to create this. So we're going to need to make another two of these thrusters, which means we're going to need to make another two of these thrusters and another two of these thrusters. And that's just to get up to the final stage. So we're going to need another two more of those. And we've got, we haven't got the items on us, so let's craft up those gears first. So we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. And we do have enough sticks as well. That's brilliant. Right, so we want these basic gears. And then we want uh, conductive iron and redstone conduit. So I do need some redstone conduit. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Give me some redstone conduit. Give me some conductive iron and recipe. Bam, bam. So we've got those four. So for those, we're going to need eight more machine chassis, which means I'm going to be busy. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the ingredients together that we need to move the jetpack all the way up to this final process. Um, how do we make these ones? How do you make that? So we won't be able to move over to the Dark Solarium one just yet. I may leave that for a later episode because I do like that one. That is pretty good. But you do need Dark Solarium ingots, which is Dark Steel, Solarium and Pulsating Crystals. And you need quite a few of those. And then you also need Conductive Iron Armor Plating as well. Which is Silicon Armor with 10 Conductive Iron. And Silicon Armor is Silicon. Oh, that's a bit different. It didn't used to be the same recipe as that unless that's changed. Yep, so uh, we won't be able to move on to that straight away. What I'm going to do then, I'm just going to make a quick cut while I gather all the ingredients together so we can uh, move on to that final, uh, move up to the vibrant jetpack. We'll also look at making this dark steel armor, which as you can see is moving up. So you go from there, then you make your conductive iron armor, and then from there, you'll craft the electric steel plate uh, armor plating. And then from there, you'll craft the dark steel armor plating. Uh, I think we may as well just get cracked on with making the silicon one for now. I think we do have silicon in here. No? I think I've put that away over here. Uh, yeah, there. One, two, three, four, five. We're also going to need some more iron. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, let's make the silicon armor plating. One. And then we need to pop it in. Come round here, please. <coughs> then we pop that in there with 10 of those. And there we go, we've got that one. Now we need 10 electric steel. And then 10 dark steel. So electrical steel, 10. And dark steel. And I will have to make some more dark steel as you can see I'm running out there. Uh, so come back over here and place that in with that. Got it before me. Tried snatched out there just before it vanished. And then place that in there with that. And there we go, we've got his dark uh, dark steel armor plating. 
Uh, and we do need the armor plating on it as well because to move up to this you do need the armored vibrant jetpack. Uh, you also need a vibrant capacitor and a few other things. We may be able to get that done. I mean during the break what I'm going to do, I'm going to craft up some more dark steel. Uh, these pulsating in, um, crystals, pretty easy make. Uh, not the under one, the pulsating crystals. They're just diamonds surrounded by pulsating nuggets. And I believe for this one as well, we also need to craft vibrant crystals, which is emerald surrounded by vibrant alloy nuggets. Uh, we'll craft those up now. We're going to need three. I'm pretty sure I've got some diamonds in here. Yep. Uh, a diamond, sorry. Emeralds. Uh, I may as well grab everything while I'm in here. I need to empty that out and arrange that. So we're only going to need four. Uh, I haven't done my vibrant alloy, so let me take that. And also two more, that should do enough. Let's hope. <laughs> Miles off. I should have known, really. Right, let's take that one. Place those around there. Take those ones. Let's get them out of there. Uh, pulsating iron. Right, so for the pulsating iron, I believe we need four for this. Uh, I've got it here. And let's keep those to one side. I'm going to pop all this away. Whoa, don't want to drop them in there. I want to drop these in here. Right, see if those machine chassis have done. We've got three or four. Uh, we're out of the casing and we're also out of... Uh, well, we're out of both casings, the steady casing and the iron casing. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to quickly take a break. Gather the rest of the items, then I'll come back and we'll craft up the remainder of the jetpacks. Alright, what I've done then, I've set up three chests over here. This chest is going to be for us upgrading to the energetic backpack. The next one is the vibrant jetpack. And this final one over here is what I'm going to be building up to get the dark solarium jetpack, which I'll probably do in between episodes. But I have shown you the recipe so you are aware of what it is that goes into it. Uh, we could potentially even make those now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, please. So let's get some components out of the way for that. So we've got most of it done. Um, I can also take that and that. Let's go up to the soul binder and pop that in there and that in there. And pop me six XP in there for that to work. Right, so. We've got mass majority of the parts for this then. It's just a case of making the vibrant capacity. But what we're going to do then now is we're going to take these parts out of here. And let's craft up those two energetic thrusters. And then if we take that, we can then craft the energetic backpack. Right then, finally, we're going to be taking these out of here. Let's go back across here first. We're going to want to make the energetic thrusters. Um, ah, yeah, I am missing um, five of those, which means, have I got any already done? Yeah. Right, let's go get those crafted up. That's not a problem. That's not too difficult at all. Just need, means I need another, not five, is it? Four, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. One, two, three, four of those. And... Eight of those. Now click on here, click on here, click here, click here, click uh bam. And there's before. Right, we'll uh, try that one again then. So we want to make those double thrusters. Uh I didn't actually put that in there either. Let's take those. So I tried to organize it and still managed to mess out quite a lot. So now we'll just create the Vibrant thrusters, that's with vibrant crystals, ender energy conduit, vibrant alloy, and the octadic capacitors with your vibrant thrusters. So we've got those, and then if I click there, click there, and now have the vibrant backpack. 
and then we want to also equip it with the armor that we've created and there we go now it's just a case of charging that up that does mean now that uh, our dark plate body armor is going to be pretty useless like it's not going to be any use to us whatsoever uh, it does have more armor than the dark solarium jetpack uh, but I'm not really too fussed about that and that holds 150,000 that's old 60 million RF so we're going to have more than enough this holds itself 20 million RF uh, so even at this one uh, at the vibrant jetpack we're going to have more than enough capacity to fly around as much as we want right now that is going to do it for today then so we've got his jetpack I'll just quickly give you a demonstration of the jetpack it's got more than enough and that should do us for now uh, let me take that off and pop that on. Now, it's simple. Hold space to jump and you'll go up. And obviously you can move around and float around. But it does have a hover mode, which I have enabled to H. And as you can see, it does hold us pretty steady as well. We don't drop because it is like the best that they can get. Uh, so it's as good as creative flight, but it isn't creative flight. But that is part of the reason why I wanted to make the dark solarium chest plate because you use this to make the angel ring. Uh, but it does mean we're going to need a few other items. Other than that though, that is going to do it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more upcoming videos from yourself, then please feel free to subscribe. So thank you.